so the response to Enzi's really uh, exceeded our expectations. You know, we we you know we've been featured uh, by GQ. They've called us one of the top independent footwear brands in the world. We've been featured on CNN, the fin Financial Times. But I think even more than these kind of nice PR pieces is when uh, people in the industry actually interact with our product, and we have that moment of you know, wow, this is made in Ethiopia. You know, I think that's when our brand has met its purpose. You know, it's that direct interaction of people being genuinely impressed by the quality of the material, the quality of the craftsmanship, how comfortable they are. So that's really exceeded our expectations. I think uh, we, we, we've taken on a lot, you know, because not too many brands, I don't think there's a brand in the world, actually our size, that owns its own production, is doing its own design. Uh, and then distributing it itself as well. So uh, a huge part of the value chain we've taken on our shoulders. And it's just really rewarding when we see that our vision, you know, manifest when people interact with our product. So how the, the leaders collaboration came about was through, uh, was when Mutual Friends introduced me to, to Corey Gilkey, uh, the leader, the sorry, the owner and, and founder of, of Leaders and the leader of Leaders. He was one of the first people to just love our vision, love our, our product, love what we were about. I, I say a lot of times, we meet a lot of people who talk the talk uh, in in our time in doing Enzi, and Corey was one of the few guys we've met who really walks the walk uh, and and made the investment of coming out to see our operation, build his own personal relationship, even with the with the staff that in, in the workshop that make the shoes. Um, and we wanted to create a product and a collaboration that kind of, was a celebration of, you know, black excellence on both sides of the uh, of the earth, you know, uh, and that kind of creating a, a story that bridged the gap between the U.S., uh, you know, the African diaspora in the U.S. and Africans uh, back home. And so that was inspiration behind the the, the collab, and, and and we've been excited with with how it's been received. For being our size, our brand has reached almost every corner of the world already. Um, We've had uh, retail partners uh, in Hong Kong, Shanghai, uh, London, Munich, Paris. It wasn't until later, actually, we started moving into the U.S., where Chicago has been a real home base for us. But even in between there, through our online website, we've shipped shoes uh, all over the world. I think a dream market for us going forward is, is Japan. We'd love to get into Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just increase our, our footwear, our footprint, sorry, uh, across the U.S., uh, so that's what we're, we're aiming for towards the, the, the end of the year. Hong Kong and Shanghai have been great, great, great. Um, and we're, we're headed to a trade show actually, uh, end of, yeah, in the middle of June, uh, in China as well. So yeah, I, mean, I don't think anyone can ignore China. Um, but we love to be in the, in the markets that are a bit more culture forward, the, the, the markets that, that push the culture a bit. And so that's why some of these strategic U.S. Markets like New York, Chicago, LA make a lot of sense for us. Markets like Tokyo, London, Paris, we want to be be there. And I think everywhere else kind of will, will follow the lead of those of those markets. I think why Chicago has been so great for us is there's a, a lot of key relationships we have here as well. I also think there's a synergy between our narrative coming from the continent and in Chicago as well. I think there's a lot of misconception where reality and perception are really out of whack with Chicago. You know what's in the media and what people say about Chicago versus the reality when you're on the ground. I think that's a similar energy or a similar vibe to how we feel about our part of the world as well. As well. Um, and so that's a natural fit. I think people here in Chicago um, can resonate with that and relate to that.